You're watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network. I'm Nicholas Callis. These are your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Friday, May the 8th, 2020. The Los Angeles Angels beat the Baltimore Orioles by a score of 3-1. to one. Unfortunate for the Orioles because the Yankees also lost today, so the Orioles won't be able to gain any ground in the AL East. Andrew Heaney got the win his first of the season, Cole Stewart got the loss, and Hansel Robles now has 11 saves on the season with the Angels. The Boston Red Sox beat the New York Yankees by a score of 5-2. Marcus Walden got the win, Jay Happ got the loss, and Brandon Workman now has 12 saves on the season. The Red Sox were propelled by a four-run top of the third inning, and they didn't give up the lead after that point. The Texas Rangers beat the Tampa Bay Rays by a final score of 11-6. Lance Lynn got the win, and Ryan Yarbrough got the loss. This game had a lot of offense in the last third of the game. The Rangers just put up several two spots, which added on to their two three-run innings that they had in the first and the fifth, and they ended up winning. The Toronto Blue Jays lost to the Oakland Athletics. Final score of this game was 6-2. Chris Bassett got the win. Tanner Roark got the loss. And Liam Hendricks is catching up to Brad Hand. He has 14 saves now on the season. The Kansas City Royals and the Minnesota Twins played each other in an AL Central matchup, and the Twins won handily. 9-3 was the final score. The Twins got nine runs on 18 hits. The Royals three runs on six hits. Kenta Maeda remains undefeated, and he's one of the top leaders in wins this season so far. He's 5-0. Mike Montgomery is 1-3 now on the season, and Fernando Romero found a way to get a win or a save. He now has three saves on the season. The Cleveland Indians and Detroit Tigers played each other. The final score of this game was 5-1. Shane Bieber got the win, Daniel Norris got the loss, and Brad Hand continues to add to his Major League Baseball leading save total. He's up to 17 now. The Houston Astros played the Seattle Mariners, and this game was close. Took extra innings to decide it, but the Astros walked it off in the bottom of the 10th inning. Austin Pruitt got the win, and Taylor Gilbo got the loss. He's now 0-1 on the season. The Miami Marlins lost to the Atlanta Braves in this NL East game. Final score of this one was 3-2. The Marlins got both of their runs in the sixth inning. The Braves had one run innings in the third, fourth, and eighth. Darren O'Day got the win. Drew Steckenrider got the loss. And Will Smith now has 11 saves on the season. The Washington Nationals and Chicago Cubs played each other, and the Cubs came out with a win. The final score of this game was 7-3. Max Scherzer got his third losing decision of the season in this game. The New York Mets played the St. Louis Cardinals, and the Cardinals beat the Mets. Final score was 3-1. The Mets scored their only run in the seventh inning. They were in the lead until the bottom of the eighth when the Cardinals got three runs. Giovanni Gallegos in this game got his 15th save of the season. Cross-state matchup here. The Philadelphia Phillies went to PNC Park to play the Pirates. And the Phillies shut out the Pirates. Final score of this one was 5 to nothing. The Phillies scored their first run in the first inning, got a three-run top of the second, and then put up one run in the seventh. Jake Arrieta got his second winning decision of the year. Joe Musgrove got his fourth losing decision, and these two have identical records now on the season. The Arizona Diamondbacks beat the Milwaukee Brewers. Final score of this one was 4-1. to one. The Diamondbacks scored three runs in the top of the third inning and didn't relinquish their lead after that. Mike Leake got the win, Freddie Peralta got the loss, and Archie Bradley got the save. The Cincinnati Reds and the Colorado Rockies played an offensively charged game. The final score of this one was 15-9. You see the Reds putting up crooked numbers in the first three innings, two four-run innings, and one five-run inning. Really helped them to win this game. The Reds scored 15 runs on 17 hits, committed one error. The Rockies scored nine runs on 11 hits and committed two errors. Trevor Bauer, 5-0 on the year now. He's still undefeated. Kyle Freeland is 2-3. The San Diego Padres played the Los Angeles Dodgers, and the Padres, who led the NL West for the majority of April, are now trailing to the Dodgers, who beat them today in Game 1 of this series. 
Walker Bueller is now 6-0 on the season. Denelson Lamott, who was also undefeated coming into this game, got his first losing decision. And Kenley Jansen now has 13 saves on the year. And interleague baseball here between the Chicago White Sox and the San Francisco Giants. The White Sox won by a score of 4-1. Reynaldo Lopez got his third winning decision of the year. Kevin Gosman is now 2-1, and, and Alex Colome picked up his 11th save of the season. Checking out the standings now, starting in the American League East, the New York Yankees still lead this division. They are 24-14, though they lost to the Red Sox today. The Orioles also lost. They're on a five-game losing streak now. They're 20-18, and, and they could not make up any ground on the Yankees, who lost today. They're still four games back in the division. The Rays are on a three-game losing streak. They're 20-20 and 20 now, and they're five games back in the division. The Toronto Blue Jays also lost. They're 18-20, and 20, and they're six games back in the division. And the only team in the American League East to win today was the Red Sox. The Red Sox beating the New York Yankees. They are 17-23 and 23 now. They're eight games back in the division. And they're on a three-game winning streak. They've won eight of their last ten as well. In the American League Central, the Chicago White Sox are 25 and 13 after winning today. They still lead this division. The Twins are catching some fire as well. They are on a four-game winning streak. They're 23 and 15, and they're two games back in the division. The Cleveland Indians are 23 and 18. They're three and a half games back in the division. The Detroit Tigers are 14 and 24, 11 games back, and the Kansas City Royals have lost nine of their last 10 games. They're 10 and 28, and they are 15 games back of the AL Central lead. In the American League West, the Oakland Athletics continue to lead this division. They are 23-17 and 17 after winning today. The Astros, who won today as well, the Astros beat the Mariners. Uh, the Strohs are now 22-17. and 17. They still trail the Athletics by a half game. The Los Angeles Angels won today. They're 17-20. and 20. They're four and a half games back in the division. The Texas Rangers are 17-21. and 21. They're on a two-game winning streak. They're five games back in the division. And the Seattle Mariners have lost six of their last 10. They're on a three-game losing streak, and they are 17-24 and 24 after today, six and a half games back of the division. In the National League now, starting with the National League East, the Washington Nationals still lead this division. They are 23-14. and 14. Trailed by the Marlins, who lost today. The Marlins are now 21-18. and 18. They're three games back of the division. The Philadelphia Phillies are 20 and 18. They're three and a half games back of the division. The Atlanta Braves are 19 and 21, five and a half games back of the division after winning today. And the New York Mets are 15 and 23. They're on a three-game losing streak now, and they are eight and a half games back of the division. In the National League Central, the Milwaukee Brewers have finally been caught, but it wasn't by the Cubs; it was by the Cardinals. The Brewers have now lost two straight. They're 21 and 18. As are the Cardinals, who are on the opposite end, though. They are on a four-game winning streak, and they've won seven of their last ten games. And these two now tied for the top spot in the NL Central. The Cubs won today. They trail by two games. They're 19 and 20. The Reds are on a four-game winning streak. They are 17 and 21, three and a half games back in the division. And the Phillies beat the Pirates today. The Pirates now on a three-game losing streak after getting swept in a two-game set by the Yankees and losing to the Phillies today. They are 14-23, and 23, six games back of the NL Central lead. And in the National League West, the Dodgers are starting to prevail. The seven-time NL West champions uh, in a row, as I should say, since 2013. They lead this division now. 25-12 and 12 is their record, and they're gaining ground against the Padres. The Dodgers beat the Padres today in game one of a three-game weekend series these two are in. The Padres, who led the NL West for most of April, are now two and a half games back of the Dodgers with a 23-15 and 15 record. The Arizona Diamondbacks won today. They're on a three-game winning streak now. They are 19-19, and 19, six and a half games back of the division. The San Francisco Giants are 17-21. and 21. They're eight and a half games back of the division. They're on a seven-game losing streak. They've lost eight of their last ten. They're in fourth place. And the Colorado Rockies are on a three-game losing streak now. They are 13-24, and 24, 12 games back of the division. And we'll take a look at league leaders now. We'll start off with batting average leaders in the American League. Chris Davis has taken the lead again after today. He has a 383 average, good for best in the American League. Miguel Cabrera, second best with a 374 average, trailed closely by the Indians' Carlos Santana, who also has a 374 batting average, good for third best in the American League. 
In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr., his average continues to shrink, but he's still at the top of this list. Jonathan Villar, relatively close behind him. He is at a 342 batting average, good for second best in the league. And Paul Goldschmidt, 340 batting average, that's good for third best in the National League. Hits leaders in the American League. Jose Abreu, the only one in this league to have over 60 hits. Chris Davis is second best with 59, and DJ LeMayhew third best with 56. In the National League, Jonathan Villar has the most hits with 55. Ronald Acuna Jr., second best with 51, and Paul Goldschmidt rounds out the top three with 50. At bat leaders in the American League, Jose Abreu has 166. That leads everybody. J.D. Martinez, the former leader, closely in second with 162 at-bats. In the National League, Jonathan Villar has 161, and that leads all National League players. Doubles leaders in the American League, Miguel Andujar hit a double against the Red Sox today, which gives him sole possession of first place right now. He has 16 doubles. Marcus Semien and Jose Iglesias, who were tied with Andujar, at the start of today with 15 now trail him by one they each are still at 15 and they're still each tied for second best in the national league jonathan vr has 17 doubles that leads all national league players christian yelich and trey turner tied for second best with 14. triples leaders in the american league the lead still belongs to jose altuve who has four triples oscar mercado and whit merrifield tied for second best they each have three in the National League, Jonathan Villar has five triples. That still leads the National League. Chris Bryant, Hunter Pence, Trey Turner, Andrew McCutcheon, and Azdrubal Cabrera all have three, and they're all tied for second best. Home run leaders in the American League. Chris Davis has 18. He's still the leader in the American League. Matt Olson, his teammate, three behind him with 15. And then Josh Donaldson and Austin Meadows are tied for third best with 14. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has 15. That's good for the league lead. Paul Goldschmidt behind him by two with 13. And Max Muncie rounds out the top three. He has 12 home runs. Good for third best in the National League. RBI leaders in the American League. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. still at the top of this list. He has 41. He's the only American League player with over 40. Austin Meadows and Chris Davis tied for second best with 39. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt has 37. Nobody else in the National League has reached 30 yet other than him. Christian Yelich passed Cody Bellinger after today. He has 29 RBIs now, and Cody Bellinger and Bryce Harper tied for third best with 28. American League runs scored leaders. Yohan Mankata and Rafael Devers tied for the league lead with 33. Then you have Jose Abreu, Chris Davis, and Matt Olson tied for third best with 32. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has 34 runs scored. He leads this league. Trey Turner, the only other National League player with 30 runs scored. And Paul Goldschmidt and Christian Yelich on the brink of 30 with 29. Stolen base leaders in the American League. Adalberto Mondesi still leads this category with nine, but Mike Trout and Dee Gordon sneaking up on him. They each have eight. They're tied for second best in the American League. In the National League, Starling Marte still leads this category. He has 15 stolen bases. Trey Turner and Tim LaCastro tied for second best with 10, and they're the only other players in the National League with 10 or more stolen bases. Blocks leaders in the American League, Alex Bregman has 26 blocks, and he's taken the lead in this category. Mike Trout has 24. That's good for second best. And Jordan Alvarez and Shinsu Chu have 23 blocks. That's good for third best in the American League. In the National League, Reese Hoskins has 30 walks. That's good for the league best. Brandon Belt with 26, good for second best. And Freddie Freeman has 24. He rounds out the top three in the National League. On base percentage leaders, Mike Trout has a 446 on base percentage. That's good for the league best. Chris Davis right behind him with a 444. And Bregman, Alex Bregman of the Astros, right behind him with a 442 on base percentage. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has a 440 on base percentage. That's good for the league best. Paul Goldschmidt has a 423. That's good for second best. And Andrew McCutcheon reaches the top three with a 420 on base percentage. Slugging percentage leaders in the American League. Chris Davis has a 792 slugging percentage. That leads all American League players. Mike Trout has reached above 700 again. He's at a 705 slugging percentage. And Yoan Mankata under 700, but he's third best in the American League with a 686 slugging percentage. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. 
has a 769. He's good for the league best. Christian Yelich with a 717. That's second best. And Paul Goldschmidt under 700, but still good for third best in the league with a 687 slugging percentage. On base percentage plus slugging percentage leaders in the American League, you have Chris Davis, Mike Trout, and Johan Mankata representing the top three in the American League. And Ronald Acuna Jr., Christian Yelich, and Paul Goldschmidt representing the top three in the National League. Moving on to pitcher statistics, we'll start with wins leaders in the American League. Jalen Beeks still leads this category with six. And then you have six or five players tied with five wins, tied for second best in the American League. In the National League, Walker Bueller has tallied six wins. He was the winning pitcher against the Padres today, and he's now in sole possession of first place among wins in the National League with six among pitchers. Jack Flaherty, Trevor Bauer, Nelson Lamont, Pablo Lopez, Jimmy Nelson, Robbie Ray, and Madison Baumgartner. All tied with five wins, all tied for second best in the National League. The least amount of losses among American League pitchers. You see Dylan Bundy, Chris Bassett, Asher Wojciechowski, Mike Miner, Ronaldo Lopez, and Kenta Maeda all with no losses yet on the year are all still undefeated among American League pitchers. In the National League, Caleb Smith, Trevor Bauer, Walker Bueller, and Carlos Martinez make up a shorter list as compared to the American League, but they're all the undefeated pitchers left in the National League. Saves leaders in the American League. Brad Hand leads all of baseball for that matter with 17 saves. He's trailed by three to Liam Hendricks, who has 14 saves. And then there's a three-way tie for third best. Nick Anderson, Roberto Ozuna, and Brandon Workman all tied with 12. In the National League, Giovanni Gallegos has 15. That's good for the National League best. Josh Hader right behind him with 14 saves. And Sean Doolittle and Kenley Jansen tied for third best with 13. Earned run average leaders among American League pitchers. Zach Plezak still at the top with a 204 earned run average. And there are several players in the American League that have an ERA under three. In the National League, Trevor Bauer could not sustain his .96 ERA. He gave up some runs in his start today, but his ERA is still under two. But you see now Walker Bueller is the league best. Has the league best with a 132 ERA. Mike Soroka has a 186, good for second best. Caleb Smith a 187, third best in the National League. And Trevor Bauer, the former leader up until his start today, with a 188 ERA now, which is good for fourth best. Home runs allowed, or at least amount of home runs allowed among American League pitchers. Gio Gonzalez, Brandon Bailey, Frankie Montas, and John Means each tied for the league best with just two home runs allowed. In the National League, Garrett Richards has allowed just one home run, and that's good for the league best. Freddie Peralta and Caleb Smith right behind him with two home runs allowed. Shutouts among American League pitchers. Garrett Cole and Masahiro Tanaka are still the only American League pitchers with two shutouts. In the National League, Zach Wheeler and Walker Bueller are still the only National League pitchers that have accumulated two shutouts this season. Strikeout leaders among American League pitchers. Garrett Cole with 66. That leads all American League pitchers. Lucas Giolito, two behind him with 64. And Shane Bieber rounds out the top three, and he's the only other American League pitcher with over 60 strikeouts this season. He has 61. In the National League, Clayton Kershaw has passed 70 now. He's at 72 strikeouts. Chris Archer behind him with 65, and Steven Strasburg and Hugh Darvish tied for third best with 63. Max Scherzer is good for fifth best, and he's the only other National League pitcher with 60 or more strikeouts. In the American League, complete game leaders. Uh, this still belongs to Garrett Cole and Masahiro Tanaka. They're at the top. In the National League, Zach Wheeler has completed three games this season. That's good for the league best. Walker Bueller with two complete games. That's good for second best in the league. Innings pitched leaders, Shane Bieber, the first American League pitcher to get over 60 innings pitched. He's at 60 and a third innings pitched. Garrett Cole behind him with 54 and two thirds innings pitched. And Hyun Jin Ryu with 54 flat. In the National League, Clayton Kershaw has 56 and two thirds innings pitched. That's good for the league best. And you have Walker Bueller and Johnny Cueto tied for second best with 54 and two thirds innings. Blocks allowed among American League pitchers. This is more or less the 
least amount of walks allowed, but Yvonne Nova and Carlos Carrasco have the least with seven walks allowed. In the National League, Madison Baumgartner, the league leader with seven. Alex Wood, second best with eight. Every other pitcher has double digits in the National League. Whip leaders among the American League pitchers. Zach Plezak, the only one with under one. In the National League, you have four pitchers with an under one whip. Walker Bueller has a .95. And then three players tied with roughly a .99 whip. That's Clayton Kershaw, Mike Soroka, and Pablo Lopez. Pitching war leaders in the American League. Shane Bieber has a 1.5, and he takes the lead now in this category. Garrett Cole closely behind him with a 1.4, and Shea Sanderson and Carlos Carrasco relatively around 1.3. They're third and fourth best in the American League. In the National League, Chris Archer still leads this category with a 1.7 war. You Darvish and Walker Bueller close behind him with 1.5 wars. Position player or batting war leaders in the American League, Mike Trout and Chris Davis have been close to the top consistently, but after today, Trout has a 2.9, that's good for the league best. Chris Davis has a 2.8, that's good for second best. And Yohan Moncada rounds out the top three with a 2.7 war. And in the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr., the only player in baseball for that matter, still with a war over three. Christian Yelich, second best with a 2.7, and Jonathan Villar, third best with a 2.6. These have been your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Friday, May the 8th, 2020. I'm Nicholas Callis. You've been watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network.